Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be doing a full face of Primark makeup. Yes, Primark makeup. Because Primark makeup is actually really, really good. And if you haven't seen my previous video for the Primark haul or my even testing Primark makeup, then I will drop them both down below and link them up here. So yeah, let's just get into it. Um, I have a lot of actual Primark makeup. I was literally rooting through all my makeup and I was like, oh, this is Primark, this is Primark, this is Primark. And I was like, wow, that is actually quite a lot of makeup. But hey ho, let's get into it. If you can hear that, sorry, it's like 50 miles an hour wind outside. So yeah, it might be affecting the sound a little bit. I'm hoping that it's not, but you know, we're here for it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with um, skin and just making sure that my skin is nicely prepped for this makeup and I actually have some Primark skincare. So first of all is the PS Peptide 10% Matrisical Serum. This was £6 and it's kind of like the Originary, it's like in a little bottle and it's got a little Pepe, Pepe pump so I'm just gonna add a couple of drops onto my hand and then just rub that in to my skin and this would just like really hopefully hydrate my skin just a little bit my skin suffers in the winter it suffers um it goes really dry and yeah so it's just it's just not fun um the second thing I'm gonna go in with is the prep and the PS Prep and Perfect Hydrating Refreshing Priming Gel. Um, this was £3. I don't know if they actually do this anymore because this is quite a older product. But it's like a really weird like sort of jelly consistency. Can you see that? It's just really strange. But, you know, we're here for the hydration. So, we just want hydrated skin. And that is what we want. I want to be nice and dewy and gooey and beautiful. Yeah. What she said. Um, the next thing I'm going to go in with is the PS Prep and Perfect Pore Smoother Primer. So I'm going to put this in my pore area. It's very weird consistency. I will just show you. It is like really thick. And it's like really powdery. Um, this was £4. But... It does go into your pores and really hide them. So, because I think it mattifies that part of the face, I'm just gonna. It definitely mattifies, that is for sure. But it is looking really, really nice for skin. I think we are all good. So, the first product I'm actually going to go in with is they have a brow kit. So, this was the PS Brow Taming Kit. This was £3.50 and I got it in light brown. So, you get all of this, which is quite cool. It comes in this little pocket. You get some little tweezers, which we will not be using today. But, you get a brow pencil, a little spoolie and some brow gel um, and some tweezers so the brow is like a um, brow pen is like a little crayon so I'm just going to try and just create some little hairs I guess just to fill in that brow so we have like no gaps just like so so obviously you can see the difference like this brow is a lot obviously more fuller and thicker um yeah let me now go in with the little spoolie that it gives me just to blend that in a little bit okay yeah, that is really nice. So then I'll go in with the brow glue gel. I keep calling it glue. 
Okay, I don't know how well this is going to hold the brow because I generally don't feel like any product is on the brush. But, you know, we'll see how that holds. I don't have any high hopes though. Oh, okay, it does actually feel wet. Okay, interesting interesting they you know they look fine i'm not complaining they look okay they're performing okay so yeah just a tick would i um i would probably use it on like the no makeup makeup sort of days because they are very subtle um i do like my brow glue um but I tend to go towards more brow glue than a brow gel now, um, except for the Revolution one, because that is literally the best one ever. But yeah, I'm going to go in with the PS My Perfect Colour Double, Double Coverage Matte Foundation, Long Wear Matte Finish, Oil Free and Hydraulic Acid. And it also has SPF 15 in. This was £5. And yeah, this is really, really nice. Um... I really like this foundation. Um, I used, so this one's in the shade Cashew um, 05, but I did use, I think it was Ivory. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking this shade. So I'm gonna go in with actually my PS um, liquid foundation brush. This was from Primark. So I'm just gonna go in with this brush because I feel like this brush is like literally, I. I go to pick up this brush all the time now um, because I really, really like this brush. Yes, this foundation is slightly too dark for me because I haven't fake tanned, but I'm going to, I will show you that you, even if you have dark foundation, you can still pull it off. Also, I do like my skin to be just that little bit more darker, more tanned. I just can't remember to fake tan all the time. <laughs> I just think makeup looks nicer. I don't know. I just I just prefer the way my makeup looks when it I've got a little bit of a darker foundation on. But yes, I will take that down my neck. I'm just You see that performs like so nicely. Like how lovely is that? And then I'll just take my Big Beauty Blender and just pat over that. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the PS Prep and Perfect Refreshing Setting Spray and I'm just going to spray my Beauty Blender with the setting spray. And then I can just really push that into my skin and just really help that set. Because I definitely think that that will help so I'm just bouncing this beauty blender onto my skin with the setting spray in it and it will just help hold your makeup and fix your makeup into place It'll just make your makeup look absolutely amazing that is looking really really nice at the moment and also that's given me a little bit more of a glow by putting that setting spray over the top um, Although this is a matte foundation, but it definitely has given me that sort of like really satiny sort of look. Then I'm going to go in with the PS My Perfect Colour Illuminate Under Eye Concealer. This one is in the shade Nougat and this was £3. So it's just like a little... Right, so let's go in with this. like so as you can see it performs nicely looks really nice on the skin and i'm just going to take my little beauty blender now and just blend that all around does my eye area look absolutely ridiculous probably and if i feel like mm, there's like that really weird con like sort of contrast we'll just take my beauty blender and just mix them two together just to create a less 
sort of lime discoloration just like so then i'm going to go in with the ps conceal and illuminate under eye concealer in the shade toffee again this was three pounds and it is the same sort of application but it is really really nice again it feels really really nice on the skin it feels really nice and lightweight um and I, this one I'm going to go in with my brush. So it's going to have a little bit of that foundation on. And that foundation is going to mix in with that concealer. And it will just... Look at that. Effort. Like literally effortless. And it's blended. Blend that all out. And then I will take my beauty blender again and just push that in just to make sure that that is all nicely set on my face and just blended in really nicely and then if you think oh it's taken a little bit of my concealer away then just get your little concealer brush so a uh, sponge and there you go you can just create it again just like so super super nice they're really really nice on the skin they look really nice on the skin there's no like that you see how that foundation was really dark but now it's just sort of like adjusted by adding all these products to it it just yeah it just makes it look really really nice and it just really nicely adjusts to your skin so yeah 10 10 so powder i don't actually have a primark powder my primark powder ran out um and they don't actually do it anymore so i was pretty disappointed in that so i'm just going to go in with my body collection um translucent pressed powder in the shade translucent and just quickly just powder my face so we can move on extremely matte um but we've got more to come so the bronzer that i'm going to be using is the ps bronze matte bronzing powder um this is it's just one shade oh no it's in the shade fearless and this is one pound um this i will say this is very pigmented so do go very careful with it because I when I did test it I was like oh that's a, that is pigmented she's definitely pigmented so I'm literally just going in with one tap and yeah one tap is definitely enough and I'm just patting that onto my skin but it is a really really nice shade it was the only shade that they had so i was quite lucky the fact that um it's a good shade for myself um i don't think i would have picked it up if it wasn't to be honest but yeah obviously not being able to test it and also when you go into primark like your is your primark the same where literally like everything is a tester even like the stuff that isn't testers is a tester it's been opened it's had fingers put in it and everything <laughs> yeah it's not it's not great <laughs> i was trying to go for like the stuff at the bag <laughs> but how nice is that for nose contour i think it's really really nice 10 10 10 everything is 10 right so the next thing is blush so the blush i'm gonna go in with is the ps blush high pigment blusher in the shade true peach again a pound and this when i say it is high pigment it is high pigment and it does have a little bit of kickback so just be warned if you are going to use it there is some kickback in there but i just tap my brush off this is honestly such a stunning shade and for like blonde hair i think it just makes it really really pop um but yeah how pretty is she so i'm literally tapping into it and then tapping off my brush and it is still like definitely there 
um she is definitely pigmented that is for sure so yeah just be very very careful if you like a lot of blush then this blush is literally perfect for you again this was the only shade they had but i don't mind a sort of peachy sort of blush i really don't mind that sort of um shade of blush on myself um but obviously i know some people would prefer to have more of a pink blush or you know more cooler toned but this is honestly stunning look how beautiful that is it's actually incredible she is she's absolutely stunning um again another 10 for one pound as well the quality of that blush it's honestly amazing absolutely amazing the next thing is highlighter now this is something that i talk about quite a lot because i don't usually wear highlighter anymore but this has definitely brought highlighter back into my makeup bag because this highlighter palette is a 10 10 she is the ps highlight and glow four shade highlighter palette when i say the shades they are absolutely stunning let me so watch them for you so look at them how stunning are they they are just super super gorgeous yeah they are absolutely bloody beautiful so what i'm thinking of doing is so what i'm thinking of doing is is going in with that pink one and just popping that i think on top of that blush just right there because i think that will look incredible and just literally just gonna pop that on that apple of the cheek oh she's so gorgeous how stunning is that but look how much you get on the brush and i'm literally tapping the blush the brush off and then i'm just putting that on the apple of the cheek and look at that she's absolutely stunning like my face looks wet and it looks absolutely gorgeous then i'm going to go in with a more sort of rose goldy one and just pop that here So you've got that really nice glow there. And then on the tip of my nose, just like that. So we've got that little like cute button nose. Um, I will, let's just put a little bit under that brow area. Cause it definitely lifts that brow. Just, yeah, it just definitely helps lift the brow area that is for sure it's just absolutely gorgeous and it was seven pounds no brainer for four eyeshadow palettes that is literally a no brainer okay eyeshadow um i have two eyeshadows um i've got an eyeshadow palette which is the ps um eyeshadow palette in exposed this was five pounds and the colors are pretty standard sort of nudie colors you know you can do quite a nice look with them if you like that sort of thing and then i also have the dupe for the charlotte tilbury and this was the ps cream eyeshadow and this was i think it was two pound fifty um and this one's in the shade of bronze glow but yeah it's definitely the dupe of the charlotte tilbury one they did have the champagne one but that was sold out which was really annoying probably because it is a dupe so what i'm thinking is i want to put this shimmer over the top so let's okay so i'm gonna go in with this sort of like it's like a darky sort of brown this one here and i'm just gonna pop that on my brush and i'm just gonna literally take that through my crease because i want to put that cream eyeshadow on my lid so I'm just going to take that through there. It's just deep. But how pigmented are the shades? They are so pigmented. And that is looking really, really nice. Then I'm going to take a bit of a fluffy sort of brush and just go in with that sort of lighter brown. Just to help 
blend that edge out just slightly so I'm just going to blend that edge out just like so just like so that is actually looking really really nice to be fair um, then I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just go in with that sort of like warm like a nude pinky colour and then just blend that out as well to that edge just like so then I'm going to take this cream bronzer um, eyeshadow and look at that she's really really pretty and excuse like the literally finger indents when I was trying to test it my nail went straight in it the colour so you can see it's really 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 nice and I'm just gonna pat that on my lid the good thing about this is it does blend out okay you can blend this out if you want to So what I could do now is, look how nice that colour is, is get my brush that I did and just blend that edge out into that other eyeshadow, just like so. How stunning is that? So I'm just going to go off camera and do my other eye and then I'll be back. So that is both eyes done. I'm just going to go in with some of the uh, PS Prep and perfect uh, refreshing setting spray so I was told to basically pump it first oh, it still does it it kind of comes out that's fine yeah okay it's still intense I did try <laughs> Like how glowy has that made my skin? Okay, let's go in with the um, Primark Mascara. So this is the PS Wonder Lash Lymph Definition Lift Mascara. Um, I was allergic to this. Um, it did make my eye run slightly. But I think it is because, if you can see, the brush... The brush is very very spiky and i think maybe i just caught it underneath and it just kind of started to hurt my under eye maybe i scratched my under eye i don't know um but yeah i have used it since and i've not had that problem i've just been very very careful when putting and applying it onto my eyes so let's go i don't know how much this is um like I said, I've had it for a while, but it is a good mascara, let, let me tell you. And when I thought I was allergic to it, I was absolutely gutted because it is a really, really good mascara. And yeah, it definitely grips onto them lashes. It is like proper, proper nice. It makes your lashes really big and thick there you go that is one coat and yeah it's is it is a good mascara i don't get me wrong like i think i just maybe caught my under eye with it i just go very carefully with it now because like i said just be careful the brush is quite spiky and sharp and i think that is what i done i just caught maybe my like lid or something i don't know but yeah other than that it is a really really good mascara so i'm gonna go in with the second coat now just to see if that performs any better or does it clump it up i don't know how well it performs on lower lashes so let's just give it a go it's actually crazy the weather is crazy also like where is the sun we've literally had like rain rain snow rain rain and now we've got this mega wind what is going on okay that actually looks really really nice i am pretty happy with that the mascara is definitely 10 10 and my eyes do not feel irritated just so you know but i was very very careful i didn't go like really like 
up into the root area just to be cautious um because yeah the wand is very very sharp so just be careful and then lastly it is lipstick and this is the ps matte lipstick and this is in the shade rouge a levers that is what she looks like these are pretty good lips lipsticks to be honest i'm always happy with them They take a little bit of time to warm up, but once they're warm, they perform so nicely. I don't actually have a lip gloss from um, Primark. I was going to put a lip gloss over this, but we'll just keep it matte. Um, but it's not an uncomfortable matte to the point where my lips feel like they are crusty as hell. But they're like a more satiny colour, but very, very comfortable on the skin on the lips very very comfortable on the lips and yeah it will be transfer approved that is what i will say let's just so there's nothing on my hand yeah but it hasn't taken it off my lips but yeah it is definitely um transfer proof my lip mark looks quite cool um so that is so that is the primark a full face of Primark makeup obviously except for the powder but that is everything else is Primark and how stunning is this it is absolutely stunning I like it I love it and I'm like I'm mm, I'm actually really liking this sort of like eye and lip combo it looks so good anyway if you like this video give me a thumbs up turn on Turn on notifications, comment down below what is your favourite Primark makeup because I think my favourite has got to be the highlighter. It is honestly insane and it has definitely brought it back into my makeup routine because I did kind of push highlighters away but now it's back. So yeah, this is definitely um, the best product out of everything today. But yeah, so if you like this video then share some love hit the the um subscribe button and i will see you in the next one thank you all for watching and thank you for coming back love you bye